Hey folks, what's going on? I am uh, in Truro. I am on my way to the Greenfield Falls, or also known as the Christie Brook Falls. There's three sets of falls at Christie Brook. Um, it's kind of like divided into like an upper and lower. Most people that I know of go to the lower one. It's an easier walk and it's an obvious path that you park your car at. I'm gonna take you guys to the uh, the upper one and give a little bit of a direction on how to get there because not everybody knows. There's more than one way to get there, but this way is if you were in Truro and you were to go on Queen Street uh, east towards Valley, and then you're gonna, it's eventually gonna be Salmon River Road. It just turns into Salmon River Road if you're not from the Truro area. And we're gonna continue on just past the cattle market. I'm gonna turn you guys around so you can see where we're going. So we are just gonna continue up along past the cattle market. And then we're gonna continue on this Greenfield Road now. Through Murray Siding. Man, I'm so happy it's a beautiful day. It seems like I haven't seen the sun in forever. Um, we just got through a cold snap, so this is gonna be a great day to do some snowshoeing. And I'm gonna, I got something else I'm gonna try. I'll show you guys uh, when we get there. I had an order come in on Amazon, so I'm kind of stoked to give these a try too. So I'm just gonna speed the video up, fast forward us to uh, the next turn. Alright guys, so I made a mistake. I said this turned on to Greenfield Road. It's uh, Greenfield Road is here, so it's the first left I'm taking. Might be still considered Greenfield Road, I'm not sure. But it's Harmony Road as soon as you pass there according to the map, so. And all we're gonna do is uh, the first left up here is Greg Road. We're gonna take that, and this is the trick up Greg Road or down Greg Road or whatever you want to say. There's a, there's kind of a dip, and you have to have been to the falls before or have somebody tell you exactly where to go. It's not a great big path. It's not obvious. And it's a pretty. Uh, snowy road right now it doesn't look like the salt truck's been along here so make sure you got winter tires or all-wheel drive like i said no doubt there's several ways to get to the falls i've been to them as a teenager swimming a different way that was way easier um these are my stomping grounds growing up so i'm not really sure the way i know is in this dip right here Like you probably walk down right there too. In this dip right here, there's a path on the left. I'm just looking for it. Nobody's coming. Uh, looks like right here. Yeah, and you would never see it. If you're not from here, you would not know where to go. All right, I'm gonna jump out of the car and we're gonna head into the uh, the path, do some snowshoeing. Okay, so I just got out of my car, as you can see there. There's a telephone pole. There's really no markers here, but there's a telephone pole right in this dip. And down there, you can see some people have been here. Uh, this is where we're heading into the woods. So let me just make sure my car is locked. There's a lot of salt on this glove. Ugh. Okay, so I actually did see a little bit of an indicator. Um, hard to see from the road, but it, once you get out of your car, right here, 
that little uh that little tree has the bark ripped off and in like a perfect band. <laughs> I can't think of anything else other than the telephone pole across the road. It's in the little dip on Greg Road on the left hand side when you're coming from Greenfield Road. And here we go. Oh, I love how nice and sunny it is. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see the path we're headed into. It's a neat little path. It's not a very long walk. And this summer, I've taken my daughter here. She's seven. Um, it's not too bad. I'd even take her to the top of the falls in the winter time. Maybe. But I wouldn't climb to the base of the falls with her. Luckily for me, somebody's came through here and marked the path. I don't know if I would remember exactly where to go, to be honest. Okay, so here we are down at the uh, the upper Christie Brook Falls. It's a beautiful little walk. What I want to show you guys are these. Got a pair of uh, crampons from Amazon. And I'm going to give the, these a test run today. See if I can uh, safely hike close to the base of the falls. It might be, might be too dangerous and I might not be able to do it. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to change out of my snowshoes and into these guys. All right, get some shots of the falls. All right, so I'm recording from my head. So I have my hands free. I gotta stash some of my gear. Hopefully nobody notices. I can't imagine anybody's gonna come along. So just chuck that there. Okay, let's get up. Let's do it. Normally when I do these, I have my hands full with camera gear. Um, and I still manage, no problem. Uh, definitely gonna get wet from this. But... So far this side, not slippery and just snow. As you can hopefully see, the snow is getting quite a bit deeper right here to find the best way it is deep 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 so far not slippery taking it very very cautiously scenic route. Yeah, this is where other people are coming from. Okay. There. That was pretty easy. Had to go longer than I would have gone in the summer just by a few yards. And now there's the uh, path others are taking down. It's not bad. Still taking my time. It's more of a roar to this one. Has some ice and some nice flow.
It's a good spot to get some pictures. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. It was a pretty simple one. I've been meaning to show you guys exactly how to get to these waterfalls. A lot of people seem to ask that question. Um, and I wanted to try out the ice cleats. I'm gonna say, I mean, there's not much ice, but I felt like I could run up the hill in some places. Uh, I still took it very careful and slow and kind of went a longer way than I would in the summer because it's still dangerous. But other than that, the uh, falls look beautiful, all covered in ice. Nice to see, beautiful day. For snowshoeing and I also got to say um, I really noticed a big difference when I took the snowshoes off I my pants immediately got way more soaked um, so they're well worth it if you want to see the map for this uh, little adventure I, I recorded it on the Gaia app there's a link to the video I briefly talked about the Gaia app if you want to check that out and if you want to download the GPS coordinates You'll have to be on youtube.com, not browsing through Facebook to see that in the description. Um, but you can find me on facebook.com slash New Scotland. And I appreciate you guys watching to the end. I'll see you in the next one.